हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सर सिद्धार्थ चौहान वेलकम टू ई सी मेड कैन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंड डिग्री हार्ड ब्लॉक एंड विच आर फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स विच आर मोबिट्स टाइप वन एंड मोबिट्स टाइप टू टू मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट हाउ टू डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन द टाइप्स ऑफ द सेकेंड डिग्री हार्ड ब्लॉक सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द की कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट द सेकेंड डिग्री हार्ड ब्लॉक सो वट इज एक्चुअली द सेकेंड डिग्री हार्ड ब्लॉक द सेकेंड डिग्री हार्ट ब्लॉक और द आर्ट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर ब्लॉक इट इज़ अ डिसऑर्डर विच इज़ कैरेक्टराइज बाई द डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ और डिले और एनी इंटरप्शन ऑफ रेडियल इम्पल्स कंडक्शन टू द वेंट्रिकुलर टू द आर्ट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर नोड सो इफ एनी डिले और इफ एनी ड्यू टू एनी पैथोलॉजी ए वी बंडल इज डिस्टर्ब और ए वी बंडल इज नॉट वर्किंग वेल सो वी माइट हैव हार्ट ब्लॉक so what are the characteristic findings which we find uh, what we find on the ecg is prolongation of pr interval so uh, but the second degree heart block is quite different so although it is uh, under the heart heart block or the atrioventricular block and prolongation of pr interval will also be seen here but uh, it is further subdivided into two types uh, in which we will find the characteristic findings how to distinguish between the mobits type 1 and mobits type 2 so we already discussed that it is being divided into two types which are mobits type 1 and mobits type 2 although uh, mobits type 1 is also called as a wenke bock we can uh, other name is wenke bock here we written here so the mobits type 1 and mobits type 2 block in uh, atrio Uh, where the where there is no arterial impulse is going uh, through the AV bundle to the ventricles, so we can see uh, on the ECG the P waves are not being followed by the QRS complex. So here is a hallmark how to distinguish between type one and type two, which is Wenke bag and Mobitz type two. So on the Wenke bag or Mobitz type one, we find a prolongation of PR interval uh, before the block occurs. So the on each before uh, before each qrs complex we will find a prolongation of pr interval pr interval is getting prolonged prolonged and prolonged and suddenly the qrs complex is suddenly uh, disappear we don't know the pathology uh, when it will disappear after how many qrs interval after how many qrs complex it appears before the disappearance of the any qrs complex so we don't know uh, 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 when it occurs but uh, we might see uh, the prolongation of pr interval on mobits type 1 but as soon as the mobits type 1 is converted to the mobits type 2 the prolongation we will not see the prolongation of pr interval we will not see although the pr interval is constant but suddenly the qrs complex disappear we cannot see the elongation of pr interval or prolongation of pr interval so this is the characteristic distinguishable marking or remark which we see on the ecg how to distinguish between mobits type 1 and type 2 in mobits type 1 we will see a prolongation of pr interval whereas in mobits type 2 we don't see a prolongation of pr interval right so if we are going to discuss about the ecg pattern uh, this one is the first one is the mobits type 1 or the wenke bag a uh, ecg i draw here so this one is a p wave this is the qrs complex and this is one this one is a t wave right so the p wave is quite normal here so it shows that the art uh, uh, rhythm is from the uh, sinoatrial uh, sa node right sinoatrial node so the rhythm is sinus rhythm p wave is uh, seen here this one is a pr interval this one is a qrs complex and this is a t wave qrs qrs complex or qrs complex will show uh, the depolarization of the ventricles and the p wave will show the depolarization of the atria and the t wave will show the depolarization of the ventricle so all the complexes or all the waves are seen here which are quite normal here but uh, see here this pr interval this one here pr interval here pr interval and suddenly the qrs complex disappear right so we will see the gradual elongation of the pr interval and suddenly the p wave is completely blocked or the impulse is conducting in the artery itself and it is not going to the ventricle right we will see 
that QRS complex suddenly disappear here after elongation of PR interval the QRS complex suddenly disappear which is a characteristic finding of Mobitz type 1 so the elongation of PR interval are seen here but as soon as the, this pathology continues further and it uh, changes to the Mobitz type 2 we will see that there is no elongation of PR interval this one is a Mobitz type 2 ECG uh, there is no uh, constant PR interval the PR intervals are all constant here there is, we, we cannot see the elongation of PR interval but suddenly after 3 QRS complex suddenly the QRS complex disappear why it disappear? we don't know this shows that on ECG that the uh, impulses are not conducting to the ventricles suddenly the impulse are not conducting to the ventricle or we can say that the AV node is refractory here refractory, refractory period, right so this is the characteristic finding of the ECG after, uh, for the Mobitz type 1 and Mobitz type 2 but uh, see uh, uh, there is quite more differences between the uh, Mobitz type 1 and type 2 besides the ECG if uh, I draw impulse conduction pathway here this one is SA node uh, this one is AV node I think you are seeing here AV node and after, uh, below this AV node here is the His bundle and this one is the left bundle branch and this one is the right bundle branch and this one is the Purkinje fibers right Purkinje system so uh, although the conductions are uh, initiated in the SA node uh, it is conducted to the AV node also but here the problem arises uh, as uh, if it is a Mobitz type 1 there is block here AV node block is in the AV node itself in Mobitz type 1 but if it is a Mobitz type 2 the block is here here like uh, above the his bundle or below the AV bundle AV node right here is the Mobitz type 2 so the Wanky block is itself a block in the AV node but the uh, Mobitz type 2 is not uh, in the AV node uh, uh, it is slightly below the AV node and slightly above the his bundle right so uh, we can see here right uh, how uh, this will manifest uh, clinical manifestation so the uh, patients are quite different uh, in, uh, due, to due to this also so as we know that the parasympathetic nervous system uh, is uh, supplying the AV node also if uh, the patients are uh, patients are given the vagal massage uh, due to the AV bundle or the aggravating factors uh, which are caused uh, or the patient is not doing well if you are if you are doing a vagal massage the banky bok or the mobile strife one is uh, worsen more right so if by doing the vagal massage we uh, we can worsen the mobitz type 1 so the possibility is that by doing the vagal massage the mobitz type 1 will be converted to the mobitz type 2 and mobitz type 2 will be converted to the third degree heart block also so this point we have to keep it in our mind that the actually the block in Mobitz type 1 is is itself in the uh, AV node but the Mobitz type 2 is not in the AV bundle or the AV node it's slightly below the AV bundle or AV node and slightly above the his bundle so the manifestations are quite different with respect to this also so we have to keep it in our mind so that's all I hope uh, you are much, very much clear about uh, how uh, Mobitz type 1 and type 2 Thank you.